Hello and welcome to I Love the Library. My name is Greta Gook and I am your library director here at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. Today I am joined by your new library club president, Cheryl Moberg. Cheryl, thanks, thank you so much for being here today. Glad to be here. Um, to start with, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'd be glad to. Um, Greta, I grew up here in Detroit Lakes. I've lived here since I was a young child. I'm from a large family of people that love books and love the library. And my earliest memories are coming to this library. So I only have fond, good, long memories. Um, it was a long time ago that I was a child, so I've been in love with the library for a long time. Ah, that's amazing. Do you have any particular memory of when you first started coming to our library? Sure. Um, when I was a child, my mother loved the library. Every Sunday we'd come, and I think I probably was the most prolific um, reader as a child. And a good Sunday was a Sunday that I'd go home with five or six books. And amazingly enough, even you know, from the time of being in second and third grade, I'd read all those books. <laughs> Mom, I'm done with them. We need to go back. I need to get more. Oh, that's awesome. So you have been a power user from the very beginning. More so when I was a child. In the, now that I'm older, my sisters seem to have a ton of books that I read the ones that they recommend. Oh, so. <laughs> hey, that's a good pipeline. Yeah, yeah it's a great it's like pipeline. personal recommendations. You got, it. you got it. So you are the new uh, library club president, but I know you've been involved with library club for many years. Um, can you just tell us a uh, Tell us about what is Library Club. Well, Library Club has a great tradition here in Detroit Lakes. In fact, the Library Club preceded the library and they initially started in 1907 and were the group of folks that began the initiative to bring the library to town here. I believe the library was actually built in 1911 and so for four years they did the fundraising um, gathered you know the endowment we received from the Carnegie uh, endowment fund and put together all the all the tasks and needs in order to get the library and to come to fruition so um, since that time so amazing yeah since that time it's become a gathering once a month on the fourth Tuesday of every month at two o'clock of people that are interested in books and interested in the library and what's going on and uh, typically now in today's world we have either an author or um, some interesting event or um, a person from the community that comes in and shares a presentation with us and quite often we have uh, music accompanying uh, those meetings not necessarily all of them and then we follow up with kind of a refreshment period of time where we have coffee and tea and goodies at the end and a chance for everybody to sit and just catch up Yes, yeah, such great events that you guys do. They're free, they're open to anyone. Anyone can be a member of Library Club. The dues are $3, $3. for the year, <laughs> or you can invest and become a lifetime member for only $50. I recommend the lifetime investment. <laughs> uh, such a steal. And so what events does Library Club have coming up uh, just this fall? This fall? Well, we've got three, again, that would be in August, September, and October. October. In August, the first one on the 27th is an author by the name of Candace Samar, who is a Minnesota-based author. She wrote the Amber Crombie Trail series, and in fact, the Shelter Belts is, I believe, the book that she's going to be um, talking about this fall. And again, that's on August 27th at 2 p.m. In September, we have Mar Mary Krugerud, who is the author of a very popular book that's being talked about right now, um, The Girl in Building C. And then in October, um, Kathy Larson, who is the person that puts on our high school musical every year, um, will be bringing the high school musical cast to give a sample of their presentation. Uh, so much to look forward to. So Cheryl, what are you reading now? Today, I always have a book going on, if not two, three, or four. Um, the Lost Girls of Paris is what I'm reading right now. Um, it's a story about women spies in Ooh. World War II Ooh. and I've just started reading it but um, the author has a real talent for the way they put the word on the paper. Oh that sounds super good. Um, and so finally why do you love the library? Because it's open for everyone and is very welcoming. Kind of like a comfortable old sweatshirt. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for asking me. Um, and so Library Club, uh, please join us for our fall events. Uh, again, the first one is Tuesday, August 27th, but free, open to everyone. We hope to see you at the library. See you there.